Hey, what's going on everybody? Jade up here. Uh, today's video is going to be on my ulti regen tank build. Um, pretty self-explanatory. Just pop ultis as quick as possible and as much as you want. Um, I only really suggest this build if you're having issues sustaining. So if you're an experienced tank and have no issues sustaining, um, you can definitely click off this and click on something else. Uh, but if you do have a little bit of issues sustaining on certain boss fights and certain ad balls or something like that, this this set might help you out until you get used to doing certain ad pulls or doing certain fights. Um, so without further ado, uh, let's get into it. So we're gonna pop up with balance right quick to get our major resolve and war on ward. So we're at 31k spell resistance, 27k physical resistance, and you guys can read my poll here. Health recovery and stem recovery absolutely does nothing too much for PvE tanks. So don't worry about that stuff. It's, it's garbage. Just worry about uh, magic recovery, and then you'll be pretty much fine. I mean, then this is with blood spawn. So when blood spawn procs, obviously we'll go a lot higher. Now, let's swap bars again. Let's pump up balance. There we go. As you can see, 31, 27. Our Orthgore, we're at 32, 28. And the soft cap for your spell and physical resistance is around 32.5k. So, you're more, you're, you're safe and you're, you're doing fine. You'll definitely be over the cap when you have blood spawn on. So, what you can use this build for, and some of you guys are probably asking or thinking in your head, um, Axe is an AA, Fed AA. If you're pugging it with the, with some randos and the DPS is just absolutely garbage, you can throw this set on and just sit there and just chill with the Axes. And... You know, you you can just basically sit there and hold block the entire time, and you'll be fine. And we'll go over how you can do that in a second. Um, if you're taking Vet Sanctum, you're doing the ad pulls, and you're just having some issues with the ad pulls, not uh, not keeping your stam or magic up or whatever. Um, this set uh, this setup will definitely help you with that. Um, again, these the I only really suggest this if you're pugging trials or if you're pugging dungeons and i mean like absolutely pug like you picked up everybody from craglorn type of pug um now you can also do this with vet dsa if you need to run this doing vet dsa you'll be set sit there and pop spell wall or whatever you need to to survive um, in, in Vet DSA, the very last boss, you can throw this set on and not really have to worry about your sustain at all. Because you can just sit there and pop a tri step pot or even a stand pot and then just sit there and pop your shield wall like over and over again. I think when I did this at 160, I did Vet DSA at 160, I just sat there and popped um, spell wall like probably like four times. Like it was, it was crazy. Um, you know, Vet Sanctum Mozara and the Snake Lady right before the main boss. Uh, or excuse me, the, right before the last boss. If you're taking the ads in the corner, uh, this setup right here will be fine too. You can just sit there and pop ultis, magmas, whatever, and you'll be fine. So those are some instances of where you can use this fight or use this setup and you know, not have to worry about having a healer. I, I run this setup when we beat um, Marches of Sacrifices on hard mode without a healer. I ran it uh, when we did Bloodroot, or Bloodroot. Oh, uh, yeah, I did it when I did Bloodroot too. But uh, Moon Hunter and like every dungeon I've done, um, you know, the first time I've done it, like the DLC ones, Cradle and all that stuff, I would run this setup. But then when Earthcore came out, I'd obviously run Earthcore. Uh, I would run this. I would run this setup and and not really have any issues at all, because I would have all the ads and the boss on me, and I could just sit there and pop magma or whatever I needed to, and we would just get done. So let's go into the sets. I'm sure you're probably wondering after my long my long talk. 
So we are running uh, his spark on our front bar, and the reason why is just for that physical resistance, that extra bit of physical resistance. We could tweak our CP a little bit to get some more, uh, but I might CP set up for Cloud Rose plus three since we're going in there tomorrow, uh, and I really just don't care to change my CP. Again, I, I change it every time, so. Anyways, uh, we are running his spark. We do have two infused with the crusher enchants on both. Just to kind of keep that uptime going. And then we are running a sturdy shield. And uh, we have stamina on that as well. I like having stamina on here because I'm mainly on this bar anyways. And just kind of gives you that little bit of extra stam. Our second set, you guys probably already guessed it. For those of you have been tanking for a while. Um, I call this set the potato set. Um, basically what it does, if you can see, item 3, it uh, reduces your cost of your ultimate abilities by 10%. So, that's why, that's why I run that. And I do, as far as the traits, they come in healthy. Um, they don't come in anything else. As far as I'm aware, they still come in healthy. I do run two magic recoveries and one shield play, and that's more than enough with me. Now, if you're still running, the, if you're running this setup right here, well, let's go into the third one right quick. Third setup is Dragon. You guys probably already guessed this. It reduces your cost of your ultimate abilities by 15%. 15 was 10%. Obviously, it, um, it's going to stack, excuse me. Um, it's not obvious, but it, they, they do stack. So that's why we do have our ultimate so low. And we, we can check out our ultimates right quick. Um, spell wall is 104. Let's look at a 251. Warhorn's at 250 and the cost is at 193. We're looking at Magma. Magma is a 200 ultimate. It's stuck at 154. So, uh, and this is with Bloodspawn. If you wear Bloodspawn, you're definitely going to get that proc in the um, ultimate off a lot quicker. If you wear Earth Gore, not so much, but uh, it, this is about 5 to 10 seconds a lot faster than Earth Gore. Um, so, if you're, if you're running this setup, and you're still having issues with stam and magic and all this stuff, or at least stam, and I'll touch on magic in a second. But if you're still having issues with ma uh, with stam, here's what I suggest. And let's say that you do get an orb every great once in a while. I would pop both of these rings into uh, a harmony one, and I'll show you what harmony does. Uh, I think it's in my rings. Yep, here it is. Here's a new harmony ring. Increase the damage, healing, resource restored, and damage shield strength of synergies. You activate with 35%. So basically, if you're going to pop a shard or an orb or anything like that, you're going to get a shit ton of resources back. It's pretty much going to fill you almost all the way up uh, with this setup or with harmony on. So um, you could use that setup. You could do two harmony and one infuse with the magic recovery enchant on it. Um, or what you could do, this is also a pretty decent setup too. It's a kind of ridiculous and overkill, but you could do three infused and you could do three infused. Uh, there we go. And then do a uh, speed pot enchant on all three. Now that would be absolutely overkill and just kind of ridiculous to do, but hear me out. If you do infused on all three and then speed pots on all three, and then you have, that's going to move it up from five seconds to eight seconds. So you're looking at 24 seconds uh, minus 45. Like it, it's okay. So like, it's going to be absolutely insane. So if you guys don't know guys and girls, 45 seconds is how long it takes for a pot to come back up. But if you minus 24 from that, you're going to be sitting at 21 seconds every time you can pop a pot. So like every, basically every 20 seconds is going to come around. Your pot is going to be up. It's just, that's just ridiculous. And just crazy. And the only reason I would suggest that is if you're using trash stamp pots and you're just popping them like candy. Like if you wanted to buy two sets of these and do all infuse with the speed pots on there, 
and just go 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 happy with an Nvidia if you're just tanking the axes with like some really low DPS. You can just sit there and pop your. You know what you could do? You could sit there and pop your shield ulti, and then and then pop your pot when when the shield runs out or or shortly after the shield runs out. By the time your pot is up, you could probably pop two pots before your shield wall will be coming back up. Like it's it's incredibly fast. How f it's incredibly crazy. Excuse me. How fast you can get your spell wall back up after having you know all this stuff on. So that's why I suggest this setup if you're having issues. Like if your group is having issues, or if you're having issues in certain boss fights and stuff like that, and you really need to self-sustain, um, this setup is definitely going to help you out. Um, as far as cloud rest and stuff like that, that goes with group comp and stuff like that. But I'm not really in touch on that too much. But uh, yeah, it's a it's a good little setup. Again, you could go infused and then do the speed pots, and and you're just gonna have your pot pretty much up every 20 seconds. It's gonna be ridiculous. Um, and I would only yeah again I would only suggest that with trash pots, uh, mainly for the simple fact that they don't really do anything, but. Uh, give you you know some max stamina they give you mage endurance which increases your stamina regen but that's garbage anyways because you're going to be fucking holding blocks so it's absolutely useless but to restore stamina 6,000 stamina every time and then if you're a gonian um you're going to get uh extra 4k where is it at uh, here it is you're going to get an extra 4k so you're looking at 10k every time you pop a stamp pot you're going to get 10k stamp back as you can see, if you're at 20k, um, you're just gonna be you're just gonna be loving it. This this setup, you're gonna be loving it. I promise you. Um, and then if you're popping tri stat pots, you're just gonna be it's some ridiculous. Uh, but anyways, yeah, that's that's pretty much it as far as skills go. Um, I do like to keep this pretty much the same, at least my one through four or one through five skills. Um, and then as far as your ulti. Again, this is totally preference. You can do shield ulti. You can do dragon leap if you want to. It's only 97 ulti, whatever. Uh, you could do uh, magma. I would definitely not do dragon leap, but I would do either magma, spell wall, or, uh, or warhorn. I wouldn't really do barrier. You could put it on your front bar. Get that extra bit of magic recovery if you have this passive unlocked. But... Then again, you gotta take it, you gotta take into account this is just a damage shield that can be absorbed and get re, you know get knocked off. This is just a damage shield and like it's ridiculous. Like it's it's almost impossible to die when you have this up. Almost impossible. Uh, I wouldn't worry about too many other ultimates. There's none that are really just that amazing that you should unlock. Um, the Sigic Order one, yeah, whatever, um, whatever, it's kind of garbage as a PvE is a tank. Um, what you could also do on Vet AA hard mode, if, you, if you're still having some issues, you could throw on this Meditate skill on your front bar, pop the spell, spell wall, like taunt all the ads, pop the spell wall, and then pop this Meditate. And what that's going to do is you're going to choose the one that, that uh, restores all your resources quicker. And basically, you're going to sit there for your seven seconds or so. And, and you're just going to get all your resources back without even having to touch your pot. Like, these, this two combo right here is just so nasty in PvE. It, like, doesn't, it's, so, it's so ridiculous. Um... But yeah. Anyways, um, that's that's about it. I wouldn't I wouldn't put this on for the because uh, when you have this act or when you have it on your bar, you get major protection or whatever. When you activate a skill, you get major protection. You know, when you activate meditate, you'll get it. But you know, that's the only time I really suggest you to meditate. Uh, you know, I have a Voss plus two uh, with meditate on it just to kind of show you guys it's ridiculously easy. To sit there. If you follow that video, you'll be fine. Um, 
I'm kind of rambling now, but because I'm just, I get excited when I talk about this side because it's so ridiculously easy and just amazing to use. So as far as CP goes, uh, I do have everything again set up for CloudRest. We'll start with the green tree. Um, I got 18 in Sprinter, 75 in Arcanus for that recovery, 64 in Tenacity, at 31 in Tumbling, 72 in Shadow World. Shadow Ward. Uh, you can use this setup, it's fine. I have 76 in Bless, 64 in Elfborn, nothing here. And then I have 120 points in the here. So 72 precise strikes, 48 piercing, whatever, it doesn't matter. Put it wherever you want, it'll be fine. Uh, but it's mainly for the last stand. Uh, when you fall below 20% health, you gain major heroism. Creating three ultimate every 1.5 seconds for eight seconds. This effect can occur once every 20 seconds. Now this is a pretty cool um, little passive that you have. Let's say let's say you're um, you know taking the axes and you get knocked down for some reason, and then boom, you hit close to like 20% health. You get up, they breath of life you, whatever, and they throw you a shard. You're good to go. You're just getting major heroism, you know, just ridiculous. You're just going to be popping ultimate even faster. That's including minor heroism and then major heroism. So you're just going to be getting a ridiculous amount of ultimate. It's 72 uh, Ironclad. I wouldn't put any in, into Spell Shield. I'd put like 49, 49 here. You could probably go uh, 30 something points here. And you could probably put some, you could probably take 49 points out of quick recovery and then split them evenly between heavy armor focus and the spell shield. Um, what you could do is like throw them, throw some points in the spell shield, throw some in the uh, heavy armor focus and just try and get your spell and physical resistance wherever you feel like they need to be. Um, as far as setting up attribute points, I like to eat my food, set my gear on, and then I adjust my attribute points. It's just a lot quicker and easier that way for me. Um, stage 4 Vampire, we're using the max health buff from the Moon to Stone, ESO Plus, yay. And then we're using Tri-Step Foods. Other than that, hopefully this video um, will help you out for those of you guys that are having some issues. Um, sustaining in dungeons or or just uh, pug runs if you're learning how to tank I learned how to tank by doing nothing but pug runs like I didn't even know YouTube I didn't even know ESO had a YouTube channel of like stuff so um, that's why I started making my channel for that but but yeah I mean like this setup's gonna help you out hopefully um, and if it doesn't let me know in the comment sections below and uh, we'll get in touch with you I'll get in touch with you and and we'll uh, we'll go over um, what you may be doing wrong and stuff like that. So um, if you're solving issues with this set, just send me a quick video in Discord or something like that, and we'll, we'll I'll help you out. Other than that, thanks for watching, and uh, we'll see you in the next video.